We got Sammy Heavens featuring Nasty C, her letter to this nigga. Let's see what she talking about, y'all. Let's go. What up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Ronnie B, aka DJ Ron One, and we back with another one. Hopefully, everything is good with you guys, from your money to your families, and most importantly, man, your health. Please take care of yourselves and one another. To my rundown crew, what's up with it, y'all? Hopefully, everything is good with you guys as well. Please continue to spread the channel, leave me comments, leave me suggestions, thumbs up to this video. Everything that's happening right now is because of you guys, and I cannot thank you guys enough. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by, fucking with your boy. Please join the Rundown crew by hitting the subscribe button down below. We going up, numbers is going up, views is going up. We in South Africa, we in Alabama, we, nigga, nigga, we going up. So fuck with me, join the Rundown crew, leave me a suggestion, say hi, all that lovely stuff. Today though, we got Sammy Heavens featuring Miss Mr. C, Nasty C. Um, this is a letter that she wrote to him, pretty much pouring out her heart, telling this nigga how she feel. We finna get into the rap, poet, love letter, whatever category you want to put it in. We finna get into it, see what she talking about. Give our commentary like we do, man. You already know. Let's go. Oh, also too, this is short. It's only a minute long. So with my commentary, I don't know, another 30 seconds, minute maybe. Who knows? We finna get into it, see what she talking about. Fuck with it, spread it, let everybody know. You already know. Let's go. <laughs> okay, you see the smile on that girl's face, man? That looked like a woman that's genuinely happy, excited. And, and, and excited to express how she feel about this nigga, man. Look at that smile right there on her face. I don't know what she said because she's speaking another language. So if somebody from South Africa could tell me what she said, that'd be great. Yeah, let me know what she said. I'd like to know. Back to it. Hey, I'm not so great at human interaction. Everybody else is trying to get some action. I know they're friends, but are they smashed? I'm not good at human interaction, meaning, nigga, I'm not cool at all of this talking and expressing myself very well, but she fucks with him, and I'm assuming, based off of what she said, they were friends first, or supposedly been friends, or yapping, or not having everybody in that business, that's why she put in there, are they smashing? Because I'm pretty sure they didn't see around, they've been seen around each other, they've been seen hanging out. And motherfuckers be wondering, like, nigga, is that nigga beating that up? Who knows? And other niggas is trying to smash. Niggas is trying to fuck. You heard what she said? Everybody trying to get, other people trying to get some action. So, this nigga's trying to fuck. In so many words. You feel me? Let's see what else she talking about, y'all. Back to it. Keep it on the low, you know, old-fashioned. I can do the whole smash and pass thing. I want to grow with you, ride with you. I'm strapped in. I want to home with you. Okay, that was a deep one right there. Old fashioned, right? Back in the day, believe it or not, motherfuckers, niggas didn't talk about all the shit that's being talked about now. There was no social media. There was no internet. There was no blogs. There was no TikTok. There was no Facebook. There was none of that shit. So niggas kept that shit to themselves. She know that. You know what I'm saying? So she like, nigga, let's go back to the old school and keep shit on the hush and do what we, you know what I'm saying? Do what we do. You feel me? That's what she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? She's talking about she want a home with the nigga. How many females that ain't trying to fuck with you for the long haul is talking about getting a house together, nigga? A house. A home. Nigga, a home ain't a home without a woman in it. And she trying to be a part of that, nigga. You got to respect that. Unless you got some other shit cracking, which I get. But she talking like some long-term forever type shit. And you got to respect that for pouring her heart out on this shit. Back to it. Wanna get a dimension with greener grass that somebody else can mow for you. Be like Bay and Ho. You get me, I get you, but I don't get deja vu. There's nobody else like you. I'm trying, she's talking about nigga grass that somebody else gotta cut. Nigga, she talking about doing some next level shit. You feel me? And 
that's that's dope as fuck. You know what I'm saying? What better situation than to have than a woman to build with? A woman that that wants to see you win. A woman that wants to see you flourish. A woman that wants to be a part of your growth. You know what I'm saying? In 2022, it ain't a whole lot of them out there. All of them got their own hidden agendas and using you for the fame or whatever the case may be. But she on some other type, on some other level type shit that every real nigga out there would probably want to be a part of. I'm just saying, nigga, she... So far, so good, girl. Go ahead, Sammy. Speak up for your nigga. Let him know what's cracking on your side. Go ahead, girl. Back to it. I sneeze on the beat. You get feelings and the food. The rhythms and the blues. Play at our rendezvous. How'd I get so lost in you? I got ashes. I got clues. Don't get it twisted. Confused. I'm so mad. Nigga, she said sneeze on the beat. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? We don't use that kind of terminology out here, but sneeze on the beat sound hard. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? She was saying like playing with the rhythm and blues. I'm so in love with you. I'm so into or whatever fuck she just said. Nigga, she dropping bars and pouring her heart out at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And it sound it's, it doesn't sound raunchy. It doesn't sound like some hood shit. This sounds like a woman who's genuinely pouring her heart out on the mic. And it's nice to see. I think more, not to knock Cardi B and Megan The Stallion and Nicki Minaj. I smash all of them. They can keep it 100. But <laughs> ain't nothing to knock them, but they're a little bit on the rougher side. She kind of seemed like she on the more softer, in love, being a woman and playing her position as a woman side. Not to say that they don't. I don't know them. I don't know them. I don't know what they do with they niggas or whatever. But the, the, the optics don't look the same as what she spit if that makes sense kind of sort of whatever back to it in love with you i got stamina and blue boy let me stick it out with you that's the end of what i wrote i need another line she said i got answers i got clues don't get it twisted or confused like Nigga, she pretty much saying, nigga, don't play. Don't get it twisted or confused, nigga, but I'm here. And don't take my kindness for weakness. Don't run all over me. Don't get it confused. I will fuck you up. <laughs> I mean, she also said, I'm, I'm mad in love with you, too. You know what I'm saying? So she pretty much saying, nigga, I'm crazy about you. I want to fuck with you. I want to take us to the next level. Don't get it fucked up, nigga. I will fuck you up, and you will lose me if you don't act right. Y'all right? Wrong? Leave it in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about it. You feel me? Back to it. Okay. That was a short one. Um, her shit is only a minute, but um, one of my subscribers asked me to, to kick some knowledge about it, and that's my knowledge. It's only a minute long, so it ain't all that goddamn long. But go back and run her shit up. She had 28,000 views. Like, run her shit up, man. Get her to 30K for Nasty C. If you don't do it for her, do it for him. That's his woman. You feel me? But that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for fucking with me. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it. All that lovely stuff. And you already know, man. Until the next one. Blessings to you and yours, y'all. We gone.